At this end, we have our end dump assembly. Sounds like the guys are on lunch. It's nice and quiet. Our square body end dump line, which is our bread and butter, starts here. We have three stations and the chassis get built in the back. They come up the middle and the boxes get married to the, to the chassis in the middle. This is where the chassis are put together. The beams get built here. Then they get prepped to go on to the assembly jig right here. Everything is clearly labeled what it is, where it goes is often, the routing is attached and, and everything. This is where the chassis are assembled. And well, they start over there at station number one. Those guys put the cross members in and that kind of thing. It moves over here for welding. This machine turns like a rotisserie. And uh, axle integration all happens at this station. When it gets out of this station, it's ready to move forward to do the final hinge assembly and get, get the box installed on it. This is our, our side dump assembly area. We've got one almost ready to go to paint there. And uh, this is basically where we're at with the, with the, uh, the, the whitening. You know, what a difference compared to that end of the plant. Or here you can look just above and below. But uh, for an old 50-year-old uh, building, she's starting to look pretty good. This is our axle, uh, axle integration. Here we, we'll, in, in some cases, we'll install axles onto the suspensions. Uh, in most cases, we're just uh, adding the wheel ends because we use the Intrax system, a captured axle. So they'll bring those in here and then we'll put the appropriate wheel ends for whatever job we're working on. These, these four, three doors is where our low beds get built. Uh, this one in production here is for Fort McMurray. It's a 65 ton uh, detach hydraulic detachable. Some of these trailers can be 1,000-hour trailers, 1,200-hour trailers, man-hours. These are the outside rails for that same trailer. 